In my previous role as an assistant U.S. attorney at the Federal Prosecutor's Office, I defended, represented USCIS on numerous mandamus actions and currently represent individuals on mandamus actions regularly. So mandamus is a Latin word meaning we command. And in the legal system, a mandamus is a writ that is issued by a court commanding that someone do something. These are commonly known as mandamus actions. In, as it relates to most commonly, they are filed when there is an application pending for much longer than normal processing times. And there's also a statute or a rule that requires that the agency have acted within a certain period of time. And so that's when mandamus actions are most commonly filed. They are to be used as a last resort. So in the immigration sphere, mandamus actions are really used when an application is so truly prolonged that, and there's no other options available, that the only resort is to file such an action and uh, ask that a federal judge compel the federal agency in question to finally make a decision on your case. So as it relates to immigration cases, if you file a mandamus action in federal court, uh, the government will typically have 60 days, according to the court rules, to respond. And the way that they respond depend on the strength of your application. They may answer the complaint and want to litigate further. Um, they may also file a motion to dismiss if the government believes that the case is without merit. Additionally, they may also look to actually settle the case before the case goes any further in litigation by potentially giving you what you want, which is either a interview in connection with your pending application or make a decision on your application.